Well, right now, many Floridians say they're having a tough time paying for usual household expenses. This despite a recent report from the Federal Reserve suggesting inflation is steadily falling. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavia looks into the numbers and ways you can save. The prices still higher for things you need, at least to Tori Nelson of St. Pete. Shortly after the pandemic, um, things changed drastically. The mom of six says it's a struggle to save up. All of the money is going to bills. A small business owner of a family-owned bakery, she says costs for housing, utilities, and needs from the store all add up. Recent numbers from the U.S. Census Bureau survey shows Florida among the highest when it comes to difficulty paying for usual household expenses. It ranked ahead of states like New York, California, and Texas. You are not alone. Tasha Cohen Glynn with Achieve a Credit Union says there's no need to feel shame. We're all feeling a pinch right now, whether you're single, um, a retired couple, or raising a family. She says cutting expenses on food, trimming your budget on easy fixes like coffee, along with debt consolidation may help as you reconfigure your budget. Get to that magic number that you could spend every month to make sure that you stay kind of on task. In total, at least 37% of Americans found difficulty paying for expenses according to the survey. I'm doing what I gotta do to put food in my child's mouth. People in Tampa Bay we spoke with over the years are feeling the pinch. You've gotta do what you gotta do. Those like Tori are hoping for change. It doesn't feel like home anymore. You know, it doesn't feel like um, we can afford to live in a place that we were born and raised. And that is the biggest issue. In St. Pete, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. A lot of folks struggling. Florida also ranked among the top 10 when it came to concerns over price increases in the future. That's according to the survey. The feds say they plan to start cutting its key interest rate this month for the first time in four years.